This video is going to be for plow slick. I didn't actually buy it for my plow this time. I bought it to apply to the bottom of my mower deck and my tow behind mower because the grass that I mow is super wet and sticks to the bottom of the mower. So I'm hoping to make it either to where I don't have to clean it or it's much, much easier to clean. So the directions are pretty straightforward. Basically, I'm going to have to take the deck off, uh, prep it. I'm going to spray it with a pressure washer. It says to use heated water. Uh, I don't have that option to use it, so I'm just going to use regular water. Um, I'm going to spray the bottom of it, and then uh, you scuff it with uh, 320 grit sandpaper. I'm also going to use a wire wheel, and then use a solvent or a stripper to make sure you get all of the uh, debris out of the crevices before you apply it. So here's my tractor. It's a Husqvarna YTH 2348 with the uh, Intec engine in it. Uh, lower the deck all the way and then there is uh, this pin right here you gotta take out. There's that pin right there and then there's one that comes off of an arm. It's a little bit harder to see. And then you take the pulley off. So there's the other one. So there's the mower decks off while well, I have it apart. I'm gonna clean it obviously the whole thing and then uh, Hit all of the uh, Zerk fittings with some grease. So I sprayed it down with the pressure washer. Obviously the plow slick isn't going to go on this side, but I wanted to clean up the whole deck too. Sprayed it down with some uh, Simple Green. I'm going to use Simple Green on this side because I don't want to mess up the paint. Use degreaser. It'll If it sits on there too long, it'll erode the paint. So I sprayed it down with Simple Green. I'll hose it down with uh, the pressure washer once more and then flip it over and start cleaning up the other end. So there it is all washed. I'm going to flip it over, do the same thing the other side. I'm going to remove the blades first and see if they need to be sharpened so they're not in the way. So I hit it with a degreaser and then I used a um, steel brush and some steel wool and cleaned it up really well. Um, the sandpaper idea probably won't work for me or the recommendations in the uh, instruction manual because I had several layers of other products that I tried on here. I tried the lubricants and different kinds of paint and all sorts of things like that. So I don't think that sandpaper would have taken all that off. So what I'm going to do is hit it with the stripper, let that soak in, and then uh, wire brush it again, and then spray it down with the pressure washer one more time, and then wait for it to dry, and then probably hit it with mineral spirits rinse it off again and then apply the paint. So I used a paintbrush and applied the stripper and uh, the paint already seems to be peeling off in the places where the pressure washer didn't take it off. So I'm going to let that soak in for a bit and then I'm going to use a putty knife there and scrape the areas that the pressure washer didn't get and then probably reapply it one more time and uh, hit it with the pressure washer again. Uh, most of you probably won't have to go through all this, but like I said, because I've applied so many layers of different paints and sealers and stuff like that, trying to get this deck to mow the way that it should, um, you won't have to go through all that. It started raining outside, so I uh, finished up the mower deck as far as cleaning it, prepping it. Um, I ended up doing two of the stripper, and then uh, pressure washed it down. Now I'm going to do wait till it dries, then do mineral spirits on the bottom, and then uh, wipe it down. Close it down again and then uh, it'll be ready to go for the plow slip. Now here's underneath the deck of my uh, Hobbin tow behind mower. So I'm going to do the exact same thing to this. Alright, both those surfaces are prepped. Wiped them down with mineral spirits. Now I'm going to uh, mix it and apply it. Okay, I've got the solution and a basin. I'm going to mix them together with a paint stick. And then the de there the decks are coated. That's uh, one light coat, one medium coat, and then I touched up the uh, spots that usually clog up with a third coat. There was more than enough in the smaller package to do both decks. So I'm going to wait um, two hours for it to cure, 48 hours for it to cure completely, and then uh, put the uh, blades back on and reattach the tractor. So after cutting about a half acre of grass, the grass was very dry, it hasn't rained in about a week. This was yesterday, I mowed it, it rained today. That's about what the uh, plow slick looks like. So I'm gonna rinse it off with the hose and then take another video.
I'm not really too impressed. So as far as the plow slick review, um, I haven't tried it on my plow. I don't know if I'm gonna. I uh, followed all the directions as far as the installation process, did a really good prep job. job. Stripped it down to bare metal, used the mineral spirits, used the degreaser, pressure washed it. The only thing I didn't have access to was uh, hot water to pressurize it, but I don't think the pressure wash it. I don't think that that was the issue. The coating stayed on there, it just wasn't slick. It, uh, the grass and the mud and the dirt and everything stuck to it and it didn't uh, appear to uh, be very Teflon like or slippery like as far as uh, grass or anything not sticking to it so I'm going to shoot him an email see if I can get a, a return on my money but I'm not counting on it.